This is a project I did a while ago, but I figured it would be good to make a video for it instead of having it just being hidden on GitHub. Um, and what I was trying to do here is make a cool looking visual effect for a YouTube channel logo, right? And I ended up making that. So I'll go ahead and show that once this is done sorting, right? And um, yeah, we'll go over why the, and how this is working, right? So um, let's go ahead and hit play on that. Right, so that's the, it's using the same exact code. It just recorded a video of it. And what's happening is it's doing a sorting algorithm, right? So if you've never seen this, it um, this video by Timon Bingman, he uh, made a really cool video on just how to visualize a sorting algorithm. And it's taking the lowest pillar and it's giving it the lowest value, highest pillar, highest. Um, and it is sorting it out and you can just kind of see that cool little swapping effect and the sounds and i thought this is just something cool to watch right so um after seeing this i thought hmm, what if i do this to an image right so i took an image and i made the lowest value or the left the lowest the right side the highest and i'll scramble it by reloading the page and now it's going to do the quick sort algorithm because I select that and it's going to make the image go back. It's going to sort the image into the original. Um, so yeah, that's the base idea of it. And I also added a couple little details so you can unmute it. And, um, well, that was a bit quick and, uh, you can, um, just do a couple things on this website, right? So um, it's written in JavaScript, what I did here, and you can actually just go on it yourself, do whatever you want on it. Um, and you can upload an image if you feel like, right? So I'll upload an image of my face, and yeah, you can see it's gonna sort it into the original. Right, so. I thought that's pretty cool. And uh, I'll just kind of go over that a little bit. So here's the GitHub. You can see that. I'm going to be linking everything in the description. And then um, the last thing I'm going to be talking about is just a little bit over what's happening in the code, just to get a little bit better of an idea on what's happening, right? So you're going to see that is a swap function, right? Because every single sorting algorithm is going to swap. Um, just every single one I believe does this. Um, so then what you're going to have inside of here is the two frequencies of the column that you're swapping and the delay of that swap, right? And that's how you get it to not happen instantly. It'll just have a little bit of an animation to it. And um, then there is going to be the sorting algorithms. And I only did two. I did the quick sort, which um, is over here. And I did a bubble sort just because it was the easiest one to do. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much the basics on how it works. You can change the speed. And uh, yeah, I just thought that was a pretty cool.